Hey guys, it's Kim here and I thought I'd do a little vlog because I feel like I haven't spoken to you lot in ages. So, uh, how are you? How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm well, thank you. And, um, a little confession time. I'm not actually here in my house. Um, I'm actually down in Brighton on a five day shoot and one of the reasons why I want to speak to you tonight is kind of because I've screwed up a little bit. Uh, basically since I came back from Malaysia I've been playing catch up with my channel and I've been on other people's channels as you may see with Until Dawn and the usual main channel stuff and um, I haven't had a lot of time to do uh, my own thing and I noticed that um, because I've got this five day shoot I kind of had a couple of gaps uh, one of which I filled with this vlog, so yeah, if you could choose this as a distraction technique. Um, and also, it means that I'm going to do a couple of little crazy schedule changes. So there is going to be more Nano's Village with Will Strife this week. Because um, God bless him, it's a great bit of content. I thoroughly enjoyed my time working with Will and I hope we'll do more in the future. Uh, and we have been doing in Secrets of Grind yet, as you may or may not know. Plug for that later. Um, but yeah, but also things are a little bit awkward because next week the final part of Life is Strange drops and I cannot wait for that to come out. Um, so it was a bit complicated because I wanted to start uh, Soma, which Hannah and I have started recording, but it was going to be a case that I started putting out Soma, but then I go away and then uh, Life is Strange comes out so I'm doing double content on that and then like it would have been triple content and that's just too much content so I've held Soma back. Um, and yeah, it look, it just makes sense. It'll all come out in the end, but it basically means that you get a night with me instead and double Will Strife uh, this week. But I promise you things will be back on track very soon. So Nano's Village with Will Strife, if you're missing out on it, my god, you are missing out on a lot of fun. Um, Strife, of course, is being his way OP self in Minecraft and teaching me a fair few things that, in fairness, I should have the dignity to know already. Um, so I really thoroughly enjoyed my series and uh, if you haven't seen the other thing that I'm doing with him, I'm also doing Secrets of Grind yet, which uh, him, Rhythian, Zoe and myself are totally in love with. And if you're not watching Secrets of Grind yet, you are missing out on some of the most grade A, not even grade A, grade S, grade S voice acting ever and also like I think because we're such big fans of the genre you can just hear the joy in our voices as we get to new areas um, so we will be doing a lot more Secrets of Grind yet as the game updates and expands um, and as I mentioned as well Soma Soma is incoming uh, Hannah and I have started recording and I am so excited to share that with you um, I absolutely am in love with Soma I mean you know me I love a bit of sci-fi I love a bit of horror this is a mixture of sci-fi horror you know homicidal robots under the sea what else could go wrong um, so really super excited uh, for that for you and um, as we get close to Halloween as well there'll be more spooky things coming out uh, soon including some new Fright Night merch mm. um, we've been working very hard to bring you two posters not one but two posters and a t-shirt which frankly I just saw the final design today it looks amazing so hopefully they will be out by the time this vlog is out um, but we are so chuffed with them uh, yeah so enjoy and we thought we'd do something different with one of the posters so we did like a more cartoony scooby-doo style poster for our younger audience and we did a photo reel poster that's a little bit spookier um, but I'm so chuffed with it um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to those hitting the store and I can't wait for you to see them um, so yeah, where am I now? I'm so like I mentioned, I'm on a shoot in Brighton. Um, it's actually nothing to do with the Yogg's cast. I'm just seeing how I got lipstick on my teeth there, because I'll explain this in a minute. I do, or do I? I don't know. Um, so I'm on a shoot in Brighton at the moment. It's nothing to do with the Yogg's cast. Um, so as you may or may not do know, I do a lot of um, external pre presenting, presenter, presenter work, presenter work for other people like uh, the BAFTA Young Game Designer series, um, CBBC, more on that in a second. Um, and yeah, so basically I did a test screen to do, um, to present a series of uh, dev diaries and tutorials for a game. Uh, I'm not allowed to tell you anything more than that because I am NDA'd up to the hilt. Um, so yeah, it's 
it's a lot of fun because I do enjoy doing the kind of more professional, serious presenting side of things, as well as the YouTubing let's plays and vlogs with you guys. Um, so I, I'm chuffed to bits that this company, because I had to do an audition, um, so I'm really chuffed to bits that I got the part, uh, but it doesn't mean I have to take five days out to do this shoot. Um, but I'll let you know uh, once the videos go live if you want to check them out and see them. But also that explains why I'm sort of made up to the nines right now, because this afternoon I had to go in for a makeup and wardrobe test um, which was interesting because I'll be honest I hate clothing and um, I, I hate clothes I hate shopping I hate that luckily they did all the shopping and they laid out all the outfits for me and I looked at some and then I was like no thanks but because I'm a presenter you know I kind of have to put up with some of the decisions but look at this they've done my makeup and oh my god I wish I could have someone do my makeup every day. I am terrible at doing makeup. Really, I should get some lessons. I'm normally quite shy with bold colored um, lipstick because um, I've got odd shaped lips. So if I do it wrong, I just look like clown lips. And now they've got like super cool lips. This is always what I want. This and kind of, they did a darker shade as well, a bit more gothy shade, which I loved. Um, so really, I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that maybe I can get the makeup artist to teach me how to do this because this, love it wish i could do this a lot more because normally i'm super lazy and just put lip gloss on i'm like oh it's shiny it's fine but oh my god and my eyes look absolutely amazing i know this is kind of vain just going look at me darlings i'm beautiful but i think it's just because i'm so terrible with putting on my own makeup that having someone else do it for me and in a style that i actually love I'm just like, oh my god, maybe I should actually get my act together and get some lessons and learn how to do this because this is fantastic. Because um, I've, I've done shoots before where the makeup artist has done my makeup and I've just been a bit like, don't really see what you've done there. I, I could have probably done it faster. I mean, obviously I understand that a lot of it's to do with lights and stuff like that, but I don't, I, there, there's been a couple of shoots I've done this year that I haven't really liked the kind of makeup style that they've done. So this, I love it. Look. Ah, I can do like the Miley Cyrus thing, I, uh, <laughs> and um, get lipstick all over my teeth. But I am very aware now because, you know, I'm normally such a tomboy and I'm just rubbing my face and all this. And I'm very aware that I can't touch my face or pick my nose or anything like that because it's going to come off. Look, they also painted my nail as well because they wanted to see like what nail varnish colour would go well. This is how detailed this shoot is. Oh my god, it's so different from YouTube. It's great. Um, but yeah, I've also been doing a lot of work with CBBC again. Uh, for those of you who do or don't remember, last this time last year I was shooting Techno Babble with them, uh, which was the CBBC, which is the BBC's children's channel. Well, there's two children's channels. There's CBBS, which is super young kids, and CBBC, which is not super young kids. And then there's BBC, which is for adults and kids. Um, so yeah, I did Techno Babble last year. Uh, I've signed up for season two. Things are a little bit more different this year. Um, they asked me to do two videos so far and they were more vlog style things. So uh, they asked me to film at EGX, a sort of behind the scenes tour of EGX, which was a lot of fun. Stressful, because it meant on the Friday, every time I had a break from meeting you guys, I had to go and film. So I didn't actually eat anything. And by the time I got to the Q&A, I thought I was gonna die because I hadn't eaten anything all day. I've been on my feet, running around doing these filming in between meeting everyone and like I was shattered by the time I got to the Q&A and I, I'll be honest I don't remember a lot of the Q&A because I was so tired and by the time I got to my hotel room about like nine o'clock I just passed out like that was it never double book a shoot and a EGX gaming convention at the same time Jesus wept um, anyway the other vlog that I shot was a behind the scenes at Yogg Towers and sort of like a day in the life of me um, which is pretty crazy um, so hopefully those come out really nice and I may be doing a few more bits and pieces for Techno Babble. we'll see um, but I've also been asked to do another thing for CBBC which is I've been invited to be a part of the ultimate brain show so, the ultimate brain yeah that's it it's basically oh my god if you can if you're in the uk and you can look up on iplayer ultimate brain it is hilarious it is like it's a kids science based game show where three teams two teams of kids and one team of celebrities so yeah i'm a celebrity now sure <laughs> you know if that's where you want to spin it um I'd set various science themed tasks, um, including a trivia round at the end. 
And when I looked at this, I was like, sign me up because it looks like it's gonna be so much fun and oh, I'm really looking forward to that. So again, I'll let you know when that comes out on the CBBC, on the CBBC, on the CBBC, on CBBC. Um, yeah, I'm, I can't wait to film that. That is gonna be hysterical. What else have I got? Okay, so there is one more thing coming on my channel in November. I can't, I'm, I'm really scared to say the word November because now that's sort of putting a date on it and you guys are gonna be expecting it. So if I delay this anymore, uh, I'm in trouble. Uh, it's something I've been working on for a while now and I've kind of hinted at it uh, for the last few months now here or there in various series. And um, I'm super excited to show this to you guys. Oh my God. It's a project that is quite close to my heart. Um, and, okay, I might as well tell you now, it's gonna be a Minecraft series. And I've been working on it for a while now. I've been scripting, writing, storyboarding, and uh, heading up a team of incredibly talented people to build, code, use mods, run the whole thing for me. And um, some of these people are in-house, some of the people are out, out of house. And I'll be honest, in running this whole thing, I have been blown away by how talented people are at Minecraft. And, and, and like, it's been so inspiring to work on this. And I'm so excited that we are almost at the verge of showing this to you. Uh, I don't want to tell you too much. It's going to be story based, but there is going to be quite a serious adventure element to it as well. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the name. I might as well, oh, I don't know what to tell you. I might as well tell you the setting. So it's a sci-fi setting. And in my head, because you guys know how much of a sci-fi nerd I am. And in my head, it is a giant sloppy love letter to sci-fi that I love. So I'm very excited. We just started filming it today. Um, and I was running through one of the levels before we started filming. And I, I was really, I was almost in tears at how this thing that I've been working on for ages is coming to life and ah, it's just, I can't wait to show it with you guys. Um, I'm really, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I really hope you enjoy it. We've worked so hard on it. It's probably got a few little niggles and bugs with it that it comes from my inexperience of running a Minecraft series for the first time and writing a Minecraft series for the first time. But it's something I've wanted to do for a long time and once I got my head around what Minecraft is and what it can be used to do, it's been amazing. That's my phone. I didn't I didn't put my phone on silent. That's so unprofessional. Um, so it, it, it's been really amazing. It's been a labor of love to kind of put this all together, put my ideas down, see what works, see what doesn't work, uh, bang my head against endless bugs and problems, and then finally run through it. And um, we've still got a lot of work. We're going to do a lot of VO for it as well. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to run a behind the scenes so you can see and meet the people who have been helping me with this. Because to be honest, I feel like a bit of a fraud. I came up with the idea and I wrote it and kind of put it all together. But like, I, 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 I had to get builders in. I had to get people who understood mods in. I have a couple of people voice acting with us and acting with us. And um, oh, I can't wait to show you, but fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, it will launch in November once Nana's Village with Will Strife is done. Now that I've said that, I suddenly feel the crushing, terrifyingness of deadlines. Because I haven't told you guys this for ages, because I didn't want to rush it. We were originally going to launch it in October, but I, there were a couple of problems. I didn't want to rush it, so we put it back. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm really excited. Really, really excited to show you. So, in the meantime, what else have we got? Well, we also have, it's like show and tell this, our Yogscast Diggy Diggy book. Look, Mum, I'm in a book now. Um, and yes, so this is now available both online and in stores. Um, it's such an odd thing. I, I, I love it to bits. And um, I actually, Hannah and I wrote this bit, which is all our Fright Night fact files and I love that we've got like Mr. Soggy Thumb in there and all the monsters that we know and love and um, all the nicknames we gave to them lovingly. So Hannah and I wrote that bit. Uh, I wrote our pages on the flux um, and it's very strange like what, writing it and then seeing it in a book. I mean obviously I've had some experience with like being in magazines but this is a book. 
this this is a book thing. Um, so this is available now online. Links in the video description below. Um, but it's also available in actual shops, actual physical shops that you can go into. Uh, I saw a copy earlier today in W H Smiths, and uh, I saw one in Waterstones. I think it's coming to supermarkets as well, like Tesco and Sainsbury's. Don't hold me for granted on that, but I'm pretty sure it is coming out. Uh, in America, I think it's going to be coming out in stores too. I'm not too sure about international, so I'm sure we'll say if it goes international. So there you go, there's our dicky dicky book. Um, yeah! What an exhausting time this is right now, and we, of course we're doing the mad rundown to November and December and those Christmas live streams, and Hannah and I are already gathering things to give away on our Christmas live stream. I'm also probably going to be doing a live stream with Duncan this year because I realised, actually, why haven't I done a live stream with him? And it'll probably be like, I don't know, a real kid fest where we're just going to play um, Splatoon and Mario Kart and like lots of fun, silly games, and maybe I can convince him to do more... Um, horror stuff as well, because I just remember when I got him to play Spooky's House of Horror, that was pretty funny. Um, what else? Oh, in personal news, I have big news in personal news, I meant to say this for some time now. So I am pregnant. No, I'm not, I'm not, that's a total joke. That is such a joke, I couldn't resist, sorry. Um, I forgot you're not my mum, I wind my mum up about this all the time. I'm moving house. So it's happened, I'm finally moving house. Um, it's taken a long time to go through this. Um, so I actually put an offer on a property back in July, but um, I don't know how house buying is internationally, but it meant I was in a chain. So even though I'm able to move, because obviously my parents are living with me, they actually have bought my house from me. Uh, so I have no chain, meaning I can move whenever, and I was ready to move indeed several months ago. Um, but the person I'm buying from is in a chain. So I have to wait for him and him and him and him and all the way up the chain. But finally, touch wood, touch this wooden coaster, uh, things are happening and I should be moving towards the end of October, beginning of November, if things go through. With that in mind, please bear with me. Um, things are gonna be crazy. I'm hoping to keep my schedule up, um, but th there may be the odd day here or there missing. Um, so please, please, please be patient with me. Things are going to be crazy, especially because I've got all these shoots going on as well with um, Techno Babble, with Ultimate Brain, with uh, this mysterious shoot that I'm currently now on this week in Brighton for five days. Um, yeah, and I, I won't lie, I'm kind of, I, I'm feeling a lot of things about this because um, I love my house now. I absolutely love my house. Um, I've really settled down here and made a home, but the problem is uh, when I moved here I was still working in Bath um, and I was freelancing from home and when I joined the Yogg's cast and became such a kind of permanent fixture of the Yogg's cast, because at first I thought it was freelance so you know the commute wasn't so bad, but obviously I became a content creator and now it's more of a permanent thing, um, the commute is killing me. It, it takes me about an hour to drive over, it would take me more if I took public transport, um, and recently it's actually been taking a lot longer because there's so many roadworks between Bath and Bristol. I mean, it, it's, it's taking me like an hour and a half to drive to work now, and that's just one way. You know, that's not including coming home at the end of the day. Um, and it is really starting to affect my health and my life, and, you know, it means I'm not eating very well, I'm not sleeping very well, um, because I, when I get home I'm exhausted, I don't have time to cook something proper and I don't have time to go shopping for food and I'm not seeing a lot of my friends, I'm not seeing my family and I'm not really happy to be honest. So I've been trying to move to Bristol for a long time but the Bristol housing market is chaotic. So hopefully once I move things will get a lot better in my personal life. Um, so I'm sad that I'm leaving this place. Um, I'm leaving behind a lot of friends in Bath as well but hopefully the distance isn't so bad and if anything I will actually now have time to see them. Um, and yeah, obviously I'll be closer to the office and, you know, able to hang out with people from work a lot more as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, but it does mean that you're gonna have to say goodbye to all of this. This is gonna be the last time you see my coat rack with mysterious things and my bookshelf with many things there. Um, but obviously I will be setting up a new little mini studio in my new place. Um, and... I'll show you around once I move in and I'm not dying. Um, 
so yeah so please bear with me over the next couple of months and um yeah thanks for stopping by today so um i'll be in brighton now in my hotel room probably a bit lonely because uh, once the shoot's done you know i don't really know anyone in brighton uh maybe i can go stalk pewdiepie hmm. Um, so yeah, send me a tweet, because I will be bored out of my mind in my hotel room. And Great British Bake Off isn't even on anymore, so I can't even watch that right now. Um, and who knows what my internet connection will be like, so I don't even know if I can watch Netflix. I mean, first world problems or what, mate? Um, but anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, and, um, I'll see you very soon, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, look after yourselves and be happy. Oh god, I got my lipstick on my finger. This is what happens when you wear makeup and you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, bye bye bye.